Olivia nikitazama kazi ya mikono yako vile uliumba bingu na inchi it's, it's amazing how god how god is vile hata anapanga nyota kule juu the lord is great ukifikiria jinsi vile hata alituumba vile tunapumua amen when you think about it you see how the greatness of God and his wonderful works. Ukitazama utembe uone mito, uone milima, uone wanyama, uone ndege hata samaki kule chini. The way they survive out there. That so is the greatness of our God. Amen. Just open up your mouth and tell the Lord, I worship you because of how great you are. Mwambie wewe ni mkuu sana. Sijaona Mungu kama wewe. Sijapata hata sijasikia mwingine anaweza fanana na wewe, anaweza toshana na wewe. Aliumba bingu na hichi kwa uwezo wa neno lake. Alisema let there be light, and there was light just by his word. Amen. Just tell the Lord you are great. You are great. You are great and greatly to be praised. I am here to worship you because of who you are. Because of your greatness, because of your wonderful works. We exalt you our king now. Wewe uketie juu sana. That the earth is his footstool. Just imagine of how great and wonderful he is. That he created us in his image and likeness. He molded us and br- and akachukulizia pumzi yake. Oh God, how great are you? How great are you? We are here to sing of your greatness. We are here to sing of your wonderful works, oh God. Of your wonderful deeds, oh God, because there is no one like you. There is no one who can compare to you, Lord. You are highly exalted. Your glory goes beyond the heavens, beyond the Father's earth. How great are you, Jesus? How great are you, Lord? How great are you, Lord? You who are the stars to your life.
wewe ni mkuu sana. Hakuna wa kulinganishwa na wewe. Hakuna wa kutoshana na wewe. Utukufu wako Bwana na enzi yako Bwana. Wewe ni mkuu zaidi ya yote. Umeketi juu sana kwenye kiti chako cha enzi. Umejivika utukufu na mamlaka kama vazi. Umejivika heshima. Wewe haufananishwi, hautoshanishwi, haulinganishwi na yeyote. Wewe uliyeumba bingu na inchi kwa uwezo wa neno lako. Tumekuja kukuabudu na kukuadhimisha. Tukisema wewe ni mkuu na hakuna wa kulinganishwa na wewe. Na hakuna wa kufanana na wewe duniani na hata mbinguni. Viumbe vyote vinakuinamia. Viumbe vyote vinakuabudu. Maana wewe ni Mungu na kando yako hakuna mwingine. Kando yako hakuna wa kuabudiwa ila wewe. You are great oh God, you are great. You are one of a kind. The heavens declare your glory. The heavens declare your glory. Lord, you are perfect in all of your ways. Who can compare to you, Jesus? Who can compare to your matchless worth, oh God? Who can compare to you, our master and our king? Oh God. Oh God, how great. How great. When I think about the moon and the stars oh God Mashete rebosi akatana Mashete rebosi ete reboshe tayanda ba Mashete rebosi na yande ba rebeshe te reboshe tayanda ba dosi tayanda ba Mazika ya doshe te rebosi ala ba dosha tala Rebeshe nebosi tayanda ba Rema zaya na bado sheke rebosi, ma kere boshe tayanda ba, ma karaba yanda ba. You who holds power, all power in your hands, O God. We are here to worship. We are here to worship you, O God.
that you have seen his greatness, just lift your voice and give him a shout. Hallelujah. Give him a clap offering. Oh! 
Hallelujah. Pigia bana Yesu makofi mazuri. Ah, ukiweza weka shangwe kwa bana Yesu. Amen. 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 Patia mtu high five unapoketi. Patia mtu high five mwambie karibu kwa Wednesday ya siku ya leo. Hallelujah. Unapomsaidia kuketi kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Thank you so much praise and worship ministers for that powerful powerful session of worship and praise. Uh, kindly see you to appreciate to atua mungu kwa makofi Neema iwatoshe zaidi na zaidi Plus the instrumentalist Nashukuru mungu sana Na nampatia bwana sifa personally Kwa kuwa niko hai siku ya leo Na kuwa na nafasi kama hii Amba mungu amenipatia uh, Kuweza kuwaongoza uh, sisi Kwa atika kipini cha kuombea familia zetu uh, bwana na apewe sifa sana. Ningependa niweze kuwakaribisha wale wote ambao wanatutazama kwa mitandao yetu yote Apostle John Kimani William. Iwe ni Facebook Live, iwe ni YouTube official. Wale wako kwa runinga yetu, wale wako kwa radio na wale wenzetu wako kule Heaven's Gate Fremont. Kwa pamoja si tuwakaribishe kwa makofi. Asante. God bless every one of them. Uh, nataka ni shukuru mungu sana kwa sababu ya subu ya leo Tuliweza kuelekezo vizuri sana na mtumishi wa buwana uh, Maombi ya familia ya subu ya leo kuhusu the errors Mbazo sineza kuwa kwa familia Na na shukuru mungu tutaendelea tuna hiyo laini ya kuweza kuombea kuombe familia Na ninaamini kwamba mungu atatusaidia Siku hii ya leo eh, mungu wa kinisaidia Ninataka tu niweze kuleta uh, heki makidogo tu ama mwanga za mudogo unao husiana na three types of intercessors in a family three types of intercessors in a family na ningependa niseme hivi ya kwamba eh, kwa kila familia ndio iweze kufikia malengo ambayo Mungu ametamani kaweze kufikia lazima kuwe kuna waombezi na sio familia tu hata katika taifa katika community there must be people who will rise and maybe take up that burden of prayer and uh, many people many people uh, wamekuwa wamekuwa wame conceive mzigo wa the family lakini swali nyingi swali kubwa huwa nalipata wakati mwingi ni kwamba pastor we have been praying me and my sister we have been praying na tumekaa muda mrefu bado hatujaona results mtu anasema pastor uh, tangu wakati nilipo nimekuwa nikiombea tuseme pastor nimekuwa nikisimama na hii jamii yetu nimekuwa nikiwapatia nikitoa sacrifices zangu nimekuwa nikienda mlimani kuomba lakini pastor paka wa leo sijapata uh, majibu na nikagundua ya kwamba mtu akiwa peke yake hata kama unataka kukomboa jamii yako ni sawa inawezekana lakini takuchukua muda mrefu sana kama hautakuwa uko na uh, na hekima ina fulani ya kuweza kuomba katika familia yako Mungu ainue another set ama ainue another types of intercessors watakaoweza kukusaidia kufanya uombezi ndio upate results na nitakuonyesha na nitakupatia na quality zao watu hao aina zile za intercessory ambazo huwa zinasababisha tukiwa tumeshikana na tumeelewana sisi wote kwa sababu kila mmoja wa kila mmoja wao ako na kazi yake tunaweza kupata majibu kwa haraka ama tupate victory kwa haraka na naamini Mungu atasaidia leo it will be a bit of learning kidogo so uh, jifunge mkanda na Bwana atatusaidia katika jina la Yesu Kristo hallelujah uh, are you are you happy that we want to learn today <laughs> hallelujah now these three kinds of intercessors number 1 ni watchman intercessor watchman intercessor and number 2 is a gatekeeper number 2 is a gatekeeper and number 3 is a standing in the gap intercessor standing in the gap intercessor 
na I, and I believe hiyo hata ukichukua we copy paste weke mahali pengine popote hata kama ni kwa taifa bado tuitafanya katika jina la Yesu. Sasa wacha tuanze na uh, a watchman intercessor. Tusome katika uh, Second Samuel chapter number uh, 20 sub, chapter number 18 and verses number 24 to 26. Second Samuel chapter number 18 from verse number 24 to 26 the bible says while david was sitting between the inner gates inner and outer gates the watchman went up to the roof of the gateway by the wall as he looked out he saw a man running alone the watchman called out to the king and reported it the king said if he is alone he must have good news and the man came closer and closer Then the watchman saw another man running and he called down uh, to the gatekeeper. Look, another man running alone. The king said, he must be bringing good news too. So, the watchman said, it seems to me that the first one runs like Ahimaaz, son of Zadok. He is a good man. The king said, he comes with a good news. Carry on kindly. Then he must called out to the king, all is well. He bowed down before the king with his face to the ground and said, "Praise be to the Lord your God. He has delivered up the men who lifted their hands against my lord the king." Tunaweza tatakufika for because there kuna mambo sitaki tutoke twende mbali sana na whatever I want to say. Nianze na kuleta utangulizi ni sema ya kwamba a watchman intercessor is somebody who is set on a watch you can write somewhere is somebody who is set on a watch na sana sana hao wanakoga wameku kwa kisugu ama watch tower ukienda kwa jeshi ama mahali ambapo pamelindwa ni restricted watu kuingia sana mahali kama pengine kwa zile uh, kwa kambi za jeshi kambi za polisi unaweza kukuta mahali ambapo kuna kisugu kisugu the watch tower hiyo inamaanisha kwamba mtu yule ako pale ako kwa watch tower. Now the person who is set on a watch anaweza kuwa hata juu ya wall, anaweza kuwa hata juu ya ukuta. Kwa hivyo huyu ni intercessor ambaye ako juu, amesetiwa mahali ambapo anaweza kuobserve na kuona mambo. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. So huyu intercessor ndio huwa analeta habari za kile ambacho anachokiona kwa mbali haleluya na katika familia we need a person who can see very very far the problem the challenges ambayo tunakuwa nazo in the family is that we have people ambao ndio ni intercessors but wanaombea tu resort za saa hii wanaombea kuwe na mabadiliko wanaombea kuwe na change hii na hii lakini kuna intercessor ambaye anaweza kuwa kwa mahali juu anaweza even kuona 20 30 years to come kwa ajili ya familia this is a person ambaye hata kama ni ile maombi tulifunzwa hapa maombi ya long distance Malo, maombi ile ya kuomba maombi hawa ni intercessors wale wanaomba ma, maombi ya, ya long distance wanaweza omba ma, ma, maombi ya, ya 20 years 30 years to come for the sake of the family So kwa sababu ya muda let me give you the qualities ya yeah, the watchman intercessor. Number one, a watchman intercessor must have the discernment. Hallelujah. So an a watchman intercessor kama atakuwa effective kwa kazi zake katika familia lazi, ama katika nchi lazima awe ni mtu amejawa na discernment. That, of course, ni mtu tunaweza kurudisha hiyo. Yes. Ya yeah, unaweza kurudisha hiyo maandiko. I can show you a few things ambayo inaonyesha kwamba yule ambaye alikuwa ni watchman wakati ule wakati wa David alikuwa na discernment alikuwa naona ninaona ni kama Zadok anakuja ninaona ni kama Ahimaaz mwana wa Zadok ambaye anakuja kwa hivyo there was a, a level of understanding ama level unafaa ku uh, kuinteract nayo ya discernment unafaa kujua so when the, uh, the, the attendant told David these things Uh, yes he was split to become the king no ebu turudi nyuma kidogo turudi nyuma so so is it is it first samuel did, did we say there was second samuel please it was second samuel 
kindly play second samuel 18:25 this is yes so tunaweza kwenda hata hiyo verse 26 again tuone inasema namna gani verse number 26 as to 27 Yes, the watchman saw another man running and he called down to the gatekeeper, look, another man is alone. The king said, he must be bringing good news too. Between the, the, the next one. Then, unasikia hapa watchman anasema, it, is, seems to be, it seems to me that the first one runs like a Himaz, son of Zadok. He is a good man. The king said, he comes with good news. So, nilazima uwe na level ya discernment. Kwa sababu ukiwa juu ya ukuta wa familia, ukiwa juu ya kisugu cha familia, unafaa kujua watu wale wanao kuja kuwalenga ama watu wale wanakuja kuingia katika lango la familia ni watu wa inagani. Huyu ni mtu ambaye anayeweza ambaye am, ambaye ako juu ya ukuta na anaambia the king ama anaambia the gatekeeper ya kwamba kuna rafiki ya mfalme anakuja kwa hivyo mtu yule ambaye yako hapa kwa the watchtower si lazima tu awe ni mtu yule anaonaga tu mabaya akikuja ni vizuri kuona mabaya ya mbaya anayokuja ndiyo useme lakini pia ni lazima uwe na discernment ya kuona kitu kizuri kinakuja either rafiki wa jamii inaweza kuwa ni utajiri inaweza kuwa ni hekima inaweza kuwa ni ujuzi inaweza kuwa ni ni, uh, ni mambo ambayo Mungu anataka kuleta kwa familia ambayo itawasababisha muingie katika maeneo mapya pengine ya ya, ya, ya kiroho. Sasa hivyo hivyo lazima mtu huyu awe ni mtu wa kona discernment. And number two, kitu ambacho <laughs> a watchman intercessor of past week kukosa ni kitu kinaitwa huiso. Hii firimbi unaonaga watu wale wanatembeanga nayo sana sana wengi hawajui kazi yake. Hiyo inakuwaga na mtu anaitwa watchman intercessor kwa sababu ya kualatu watu kwa sababu ya ubaya ama hatari inayokuja so ukiona intercessor ambaye ako juu na hawezi kupuliza kipenga chake wakati hatari imekuja inawezekana number 1 pengine amelala ama pengine hajielewi ama pengine hajui ni nini ana, anachopaswa kufanya so he must have a whistle in his hands Tusome katika 2 Kings chapter number 9 and, and 2. Nafikiri hao ni maandiku ataka tusaide just to see the, the same same things. 2 Kings 9 and verses 20. Uh, second, when you get there, look at Jehu, son of Jehoshaphat. Verse 20, please. Verse 20, not 20. It's 2 Kings 9, 20. Then look out. Then the lookout... He has reached them, but he isn't coming back either. The driving is like that of Jehu, son of Nimshi. He drives like a mad man. Twendele. Hitch up my chariot. Char Joram ordered, and then it was hitched. Joram as the Israel of Israel, and I as king of rode out, each in his own chariot to meet Jehu. They met him at the plot of ground and belonged to Naboth the Jezreel. I want like you to Utenda usome hiyo yote kuanzia pengine one paka hapo 20. And also go read Isaiah. Nasema hivyo kwa zon kuna mambo mingi nafaa ni seme kabla wakati. Isaiah 2, 6, 21, 6. Isaiah 21, 6. Isaiah 21, 6. Yes, this is what the Lord says to me. Go post out and have him uh, weka NKJV, my default. Uh, nini, unless otherwise, yes. Um, thus... Uh, thus the Lord said to me, go set a watchman. Let him declare what he sees. Uh, just the same thing. Uh, and then Ezekiel 3.16 and verses number 17. Just write those scriptures. It is idea by day for matters of reference. Ezekiel 3.16 uh, to 17. Ezekiel. Now it came to pass at the end of seven days that the, Lord, the word of the Lord came to me saying... Son of man, I have made you a watchman over the house of Israel. Therefore, hear a word from my mouth and give them warning for from me. Lazima ukue na firimbi. Lazima ukue na huiso ya kweza kuhiso. Let me read the last, say, mention the last, and then we can go to the next one. Sasa, number two, they must be able to see from afar. Kwa hivyo, lazima sight yake. 
mtu huyu ambaye ni watchman awe iko iko na clarity iko na precision anaweza kuona mbali anaweza kuona maadui anaweza kuomba anaweza kuona vitu zikifanyika ushaomba na watu kwa family na wanakuambia vitu zita, wanaona zitakuja kufanyika anakuambia mimi niliona niliomba na nikaona mambo siku moja niliona tukiwa na shida sana ama siku moja niliona tukiwa na utajiri mwingi sana a watchman intercessor uh, ama a watch a watch tower intercessor anaweza kuwa pia ni mtu prophetic ni mtu anaona mambo ikifanyika kule mbele anasema nimeona tukiongezeka anaweza kuwa ni mtu pengine tuna katika nyumba yetu kuna utasa na huyu ni mtu ambaye Mungu anamsaidia akiwa ameka mahali juu anaona wakati mmoja tutakuwa na utele anaona siku moja utasa utakuwa umevunjika na tutakuwa na watoto wengi so he must be able to see from afar number three, ama number four, he must have a hearing ear lazima kama utaweka mtu ambaye atakuwa kwa watch tower ya family lazima akuwe ni mtu anasikia ni mtu ako na skill la, ki, la kiungu anaweza kusikia mambo na anaweza kusema kile anachosikia exactly shida kubwa inakuwa ni kwamba tunasikianga lakini vile tunasikia tunasikia vitu zingine tofauti unaweza kuta mtu ame ame discourage the, the whole family kwa sababu hakuweza kuelewa another quality is to be vigilant and being sober you must be vigilant you must be sober if kama hata kwa ajili ya ya ya, ya your, your own safety lazima ukae vigilant wale watu ambao nimeshawahi ona uhakika kwa bisuguo anakuwa hata wakati mwingine na, na bunduki eh wanakaa hapo na silaha because unaweza kuwa attack because unajua sasa intercessor yule ambaye yuko pale juu anaweza kuwa attack haraka by the way intercessors wale wanaanza kuatakiwa ni watchtower intercessors wale wanakaa juu because hao ndio wanalengwa wanaonekana wakiwa juu ya city wanaonekana juu ya jengo kwa hivyo wakiwa juu ya family hao ndio huwa wanalengwa so i pray ya kwamba kama Mungu amekufanya moja wapo kama unajiona hizi quality ndani yako ujue you must be vigilant ukweli ni mtu ambaye unakaga ukiwa unakesha si mtu ati wakati mmoja ni kama umesahau ni kama umejisahau watu unaweza anguka kwa ukuta ukizunguka so inafaa mtu huyu anaweza ku, ku, kuambia watu ya kwamba sasa hatari inakuja in record time the other one is must know their boundaries they must know their boundaries ukiona intercessor wa familia na hajui boundaries zake anaingilia hapa anaingilia wale anaingilia kule uh, kuna shida iko hapo so lazima awe ni mtu ambaye anaweza ku keep to his or her boundaries anasema kwamba na pia kuna mambo fulani kuna watch tower intercessor unajua intercessor ni iko iko very deep because inaweza kuwa na na kiwango cha mzigo ambacho umeachiliwa kwa ajili ya familia yako na kinaweza kuwa kimetangamana na watu wengine kwa hivyo kuna laini fulani Mungu anaweza kukupatia hata ukiwa intercessor ambaye ni wa watch tower kuna mambo ambayo pengine hufai kuyaingilia kuna mambo ambayo hufai ku, kujihusisha nayo sasa kwa hivyo ni lazima ukip your boundaries The other one is he must be on a higher place. Watu wale ambao quality moja lazima wakuwe ni watu kiroho, ni watu wako juu. Kuna mambo ambao wanaelewa. Eh? Unaosha ushawahi kuona kwa family kuna watu ndio ni waombezi ndio wana ni wazuri sana. Pengine nitakuonyesha kiwango chao. Lakini kuna mambo unajaribu kuwafanya waelewe. Unakuta ndio kuna watu wanaombaga wana wako na hata mnaweza kuwa kwa uombezi lakini kuna va, kuna vitu hawazioni na usiwachukie wale ambao hawaoni ni kwa sababu pia wako na kiwango chao kwa sababu hawa ni wa kiwango cha juu wanafaa kuona mambo dipa na kwa umbali unaposema maneno kuna vile ambavyo wanavyoyaona na ninaamini ya kwamba Mungu atawasai, atatusaidia then the last one uh, ambao nilikuwa nime note najua ni nyingi ni that they might they must be able to communicate si unasikia wale ambao wako hapo wanaambiwa waone kile ambacho wameona wanakuja ku communicate na kuna watu patikila wanafa, unajua kwa nini nimesema hawa three intercessors kwa sababu nataka ni kuonyesha relationship yao vile wanavyofanya kazi kwa familia because number two, ukisha kuwa ya kwamba umeshapokea ujumbe umepokea mambo ya kifamilia 
sasa kuna mtu ambaye unafaa kupokeza hayo mambo unaipokeza kwa intercessor anaitwa gatekeeper haleluya unaipokeza kwa get, kwa nani kwa gatekeeper hebu tuone examples uh, katika daniel daniel chapter number 2 and verses number 49 daniel uh, chapter 2 and verses number 9 49 sorry also daniel petitioned the king and he set shadrach meshach and abednego over the, the affairs of the province of babylon but daniel sat in the gate of the king so we realize and now we uh, tunakuja kujua kwamba that the kind of intercession that daniel alikuwa anafanya alikuwa a gatekeeper hallelujah so who is a gatekeeper a gatekeeper is somebody who monitors at the gate a key monitor mambo ya exit na na entrance ya vitu ama mambo ama watu ambao wanapitia pale ni mtu ambaye anakaa kwa gate anaweza kaa kwa gate ya family anajua mambo yale ana monitor mambo yale anaingia kwa family na mambo yale ambayo yanatoka kwa family ni vizuri kwa sababu anaweza pata instruction anaweza pata um, ujumbe eh hey, kutoka kwa the now the watchtower intercessor akiwa kwa wall amwambie kuna mtu anakuja kwa gate. Nimeona umasikini ukikuja kwa gate. Nimeona idolatry ikikuja kwa gate. Kwa hivyo usiikubalie. So huyu mtu ambaye ni gatekeeper ambaye ni, ni watchtower gatekeeper anafaa kukuwa macho naye asialao kitu ile ambao watchtower intercessor aliona asikikubalie kiingie. Tunaelewana watu wa Mungu. Haleluya asikubalie kile ambacho ki, kimekataliwa na intercessor ama pia akubalie ak, afungie kitu kile ambacho kilifaa kiingie ndani pengine ni harusi zilifaa zingie kwa jamii pengine ni utajiri ulifaa ingie kwa jamii pengine ni masomo ilifaa ingie kwa jamii na kwa sababu kwa sababu huwa is not a good monitor of what now is happening at the gate anaweza unaweza kukuta kwamba amefungia hata zile vitu mzuri. Ujijashaiomba na watu nasikia hata kwa family. Mumeomba unajua uh, watch tower intercessor ataomba anaomba akianza kuomba maombi yake ni imani. Tutaenda na magari, tutafanya nini? Eh tutajenga. Mi, eh wat, watoto wetu wataenda ngambo. Alafu kitoka hapo na mlikuwa mnaomba nyinyi wote. Mwenye ametoka hapo nje unasikia vile anasema, "Hai, unaona kama ile shamba yetu tutarudishiwa kweli?" Ushaomba na watu kama hao. Unaona tu ame doubt tu mara moja. Ano, na kweli na itawezekana? He, na hii polygamy imetugonga hivi. Kutawa ipatikana harusi kweli lakini intercessor mwenye alituongoza maombi alikuwa ni watch tower, alikuwa na fly high. Tutaenda, tutabomoa miji, tutakalia miji ambayo hatukuwa tumejenga. Sisi tutakuwa ma, tutaendesha ma, yani tutafanya huduma mahali ambapo hata kanisani tutaenda mbali tutafanya huduma lakini unakutana na intercessor mwingine na kuambia lakini umjue hiyo maneno mnaongea ni ya kuangaliwa sana ni ya kuangaliwa wacha vile mnapeperuka peperuka kwa hivyo ukielewa hii maneno hautawahi kashifu watu kanisani kwa intercessor ukisikia mtu anaongea unajua oh huyu unajua tuliambiwa ina tatu za intercessor wakati tunaambia go tunaambia hapa ile kuna jeshi sijui ya hewani na ni kweli kuna kuaga nayo na kuna jeshi ya nchi kavu na kuna askari wa wapi wa majini sasa tunaambia kwa kwamba usimjaribu usi, msicross line kama we unakuja wewe ni wa majini kama kwa maji kama we ni wa nchi kavu hivyo hivyo wewe ni wa kwa, kwa anga basi wewe kaa hivyo lakini sikia tuna fasi zote kusikizana na kuelewana ndio tuweze kusababisha familia yetu ingie mahali kwa hivyo Genesis chapter number 19 I also want also to show you somebody else who was a gatekeeper it's just examples too you can do study by yourself now the angels came to Sodom in the evening and Lot was sitting in the gate of Sodom so this was also another intercessor when Lot saw them he rose to meet them and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground you just go read the whole story i just wanted to make an introduction that huyu mtu ambaye anaitwa lot was sitting at the gate so he was a gate intercessor and first samuel chapter number uh, 9 and verses number 
Please do not the quality so that we may be able to pray. First Samuel chapter number nine, verse number eighteen. Then Saul drew near to Samuel in the gate and said, "Please tell me where is the seer's house." So we also realize that Samuel was also in that category. Ya gate intercessors. Kwa sababu nini nasema hivyo? Huyu mtu kama kuna watu wanatafuta punda wanatafuta punda wanaenda wanaenda wana, wanakosa punda mahali ambapo wanaenda kupata msaada wanaenda kupata msaada kwa gate intercessor au uh, gatekeeper intercessor kwa sababu yeye ndiye anajua watu wale wapi wageni wameingia anajuanga ana monitor katika gate amejua hawa ni watu fulani hata kama haku amejua na ndio unaona nafikiri hata ndio unakuta kwamba wakati Samuel anapotumwa kwenda kwenda ku uh, kumwagia Daudi mafuta ni kama unajua kama angekuwa ni watcher wa intercessor angesema angepiga piga hivi mkono aseme mm, si hawa ni mwingine yako huko lakini akiwa get intercessor lazima ugoje instruction get keep intercessor lazima fanya nini ugoje instructions za kuambiwa kwamba si huyu si huyu ni huyu ya, ya mwisho Jeremiah 7:2 Jeremiah 7:2 Stand in the gate again this is another man stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word and say hear the word of the Lord all of you Judah who enter in the gates to worship the Lord this was a gatekeeper na alikuwa na watch and a monitor kila kinapita so what are the qualities of a gate keeper intercessor number one, the gate uh, 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 gate keeper intercessor must be able to monitor uh, exits na entrances they must be able mtu wa mungu kama kuna mtu ambaye na huu ni mtu mnamhitaji na hawa watu na especially kings kings na watu wale wakubwa wana follow in the, wana, wana, they follow they fall in this category watu wale pengine unaishasikia kwamba mtu ameomba na unasikia kwamba tulipoomba ndio Mungu akaongea na anko akafanya kitu fulani tulipoomba ndio Mungu alisababisha my brother ule mkubwa akafanya kitu because these people ambao ni wakubwa wakubwa anko nani hao ndio wanakuwa kama gatekeeper na watu wale wanasababisha wana vitu zifanyike ni magate keeper. Hao ndi wanasema wanasema mnasema hapa kutakuwa na harusi lakini mkiona gate keeper mbaya anakuja naongea mambo ya ukikuyu, anaongea mambo ya wapi mnapoteza ndoa. Kwa sababu ndio unaonaga tunawaombeaga kwamba hao wali kwa sababu ni magate keeper unaweza kuwa we ni intercessor mzuri umeomba vizuri sana ukiwa eh ukiwa watch tower. Na umeomba na umeona kitu kizuri kikuja na unatangaza kwa familia yako kitu kizuri kikuja lakini unakuta kuna wazee wengine wamekuja wamekaa siku ya ndoa na wameharibu lineage wameharibu mpangilio alignment mzuri ya ndoa ambazo zitakuja kwenu unakuta kwamba hakuna mtu mwenye anataka kuja kwa hiyo ndoa kwenu si juzi harusi nyingine tu kijana ni mzuri amekaa kanisani anataka kuolewa msichana ni mzuri amekaa kanisani anataka tayari kuolewa amepozwa na intercessors wameomba na wameona na wameona kweli ndoa ikifanyika because ni kitu ya mbali wameona na wameomba lakini ma gatekeeper wanasema hapana kama hii haijatolewa kama hii haijafanywa kama hii haijafanyika so ni vizuri kuombea ya kwamba kiwango cha gatekeepers katika familia yako kiweze kuinua because hao ndio wana monitor na wanaweza kuzuilia wanaweza kuwalau kitu kibaya ama wazuilie kitu kizuri kikuje Bwana Yesu asifiwe May God help us I'm praying that Mungu atasababisha wengine wenu hapa mtakuwa gatekeepers wazuri in Jesus name So lazima tena number two, awe ni mtu ako na discernment Ni mtu ambaye ako na discernment Ukikosa a gatekeeper who has sisi designment yetu hapa ina tunasaidia kwa na ile kitu ya kuflip nini ile ya kuangalia watu nguo si ni kweli haleluya haleluya are you in the church 
Sasa unakuta wale wetu wale gatekeeper wetu wetu tuko nao hapa we unajua ni mambo physical tu hiyo huwa wana tunaflipio na ile kitu ina ya kuangalia kama kuna umebeba siraha hiyo sasa hiyo ndi inaweza kuwa ni kama discernment kama tukitumia katika ulimwengu wa kiroho lazima uwe ya kwamba unaweza ku discern ya kwamba hii kitu ama huyu mtu anaingia hapa atatuletea baraka ama atatufanya because kuna vile unaweza kuona ya kwamba pengine nyinyi ni wa Kristo na hata kama mtu ni wa ni wa, ni wa mama mudogo na anataka kuwa msichana wake ni kwa sababu ako na pesa si unaweza kukataa useme hapana hata kama huyu huyu mzee wa mama mdogo hafai kukuja mnaelewa nasema mama mdogo mgani ule wa pande ile si ndio anakuja kuoa msichana wetu kwa hivyo tunaweza kufika mahali tukatae kwa hivyo ukiwa na, na gatekeeper ambaye hana discernment atakuwa nakaribisha vitu kwa nyumba yenu kwa familia yenu mnapigwa usiku na mchana kuna ma gatekeepers wengi wali, hawa ndio walikubalia majini huwa inatawara kwenu kuna mtu alikuwa analia alikuwa anaza kuwa naona huyu tuombeni tuombeni wanaomba lakini kuna gatekeeper ambaye naye hana macho mazuri hana discernment anakubalia vitu zinaingia another thing is that one of the things ambazo tools ambayo gatekeeper anafaa kuwa nayo ni kifunguo ukienda kwa gate ukute huyu gatekeeper hana ufunguo hata unaweza shangaa huu gatekeeper ni gatekeeper ina gani because unafaa ukifika pale kama ulifaa kuukua allowed kuingia ndani lazima akufungulie ni hizi zetu tu azikwagi wakati mwingine na ufunguo lakini kuna kule ambayo inafungulia kwa na ufunguo na ingia na ufunguo na ukiingia inafungwa tena hivyo hivyo kwa hivyo lazima awe na keys hawa ni watu ambao wamebeba principles za maisha watu ambao wanajua kwamba mambo inafanya kazi namna gani so lazima uwe na key unajua hii mambo ikifunguka hivi kuna itafungulia hii nyingine hii ikifungika hivi itafungia hii nyingine so ni watu wako na key wanajua hii ufunguo itafungulia nini hii ufunguo itafungia nini jina la bwana litukuzwe so they must have the keys another quality is that they must also be vigilant and sober ukiona askari ukiona askari ambao si vigilant wako kwa gate hajui kama mtu amekuja <laughs> hajui kama hajui kama ni hatari imekuja ako tu amelala tu amekaa huyo hafai kuwa kwa gate that one is not a, a good gatekeeper huyo si gatekeeper mzuri nataka nikwambie na ni majaribu makubwa sana unaweza pata kwa sababu ukiwa ni mtu ambaye hukuagi soba unaweza jikutaka kwamba kuna vitu zilikuja zikaingia zikaimea kwenu zikapata njia kwenu na haukujua ataziringia kwa njia gani hukujua ziniingia kwa nini gani Mungu atusaidie mimi nilijua kwamba ni vizuri kuwa vigilant uh, kwa sababu huwezi jua ana Yesu alituambia hivyo hata sisi tukuage vigilant kulingana na mambo ya wokovu anasemwambia au utajua siku ile atakayoweza kukuja na siku moja siku moja katika tu hii huduma siku moja katika hii huduma uh, wakati tulikuwa na jenga jenga mijengo hapa ilikuwa ni mjengo yetu wa kwanza kabisa ule ulikuwa hapa sasa na saa hizo uh, vile mnasikia ya kwamba mtume anafanya anafanya anaweza kufanya kazi hata karibu 24 hours by the way that time alikuwa anafanya karibu 24 hours tulikuwa na shindwa analala saa ngapi anamkaa saa ngapi because tutamkuta kila wakati wote tutamkuta akiwa on sasa saa nane, saa ilikuwa saa nane ya usiku akaja akafika pale kwa gate wale ambao walikuwa na man the gate walikuwa wamelala kabisa wamelala fofofo na mwenyewe alikuwa na ufunguo za kufungua kila mahali akatoka kafungua gari yake akajifungulia gate akaingia na akafunga sasa hapa kulikuwa kuna tumeweka mabati ndio tulikuwa naweka sasa hiyo 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 kanisa ya kwanza ndio tulikuwa naezeka mabati kuna mabati zikuwa zimekuja zikuwa zimewekwa zote na hapa kulikuwa kubaya nashukuru Mungu amesaidia kumekuwa transformed sasa akakuja akakuta watu wale ambao walikuwa wamewekwa kama magatekeeper na mawatchmen sasa ndugu moja 
ndugu moja nilimjua akiwa tu hakiwa hapo ndani alisikia sasa alisikia mtume sasa akiingia na mlango wacha anze kuramashana hera akashanda apostle akamwambia wacha nyamaza si ulikuwa mela ati sasa hizo ndio unasikia ni kama uko na power sasa hizo ndio line imeshuka mtu wa Mungu kuaga vigilant usikuje kutafuta power wakati vitu zimeingia kwako wacha nitoke hapo the other one is lazima uwe na light mtu huyu lazima atembee katika mwangaza na lazima mwenyewe akiwa mahali ambapo kuna giza lazima awe ni mtu anaweza kumulikia watu watoke kwenye giza Tango kuna watu wengine wazuri wanaweza kukuelezea mambo ya familia zao ilifanyika ilifanyika lakini tulikorekta hapa tulikorekta hapa they have the light lazima askari mzuri ambaye ni gatekeeper awe na torch gatekeeper mzuri anakuaga na torch lakini wenye ambao hajielewi akuaga na muangaza so you must have the light the other one is they must be able to uh, they must be able to communicate hao ndio watu wale wanajua wanaweza communicate na hao wenye tena wa, hao wenye wa, eh? hao intercessor ama ku communicate na the people ambao wako huko ndani watu wale wako in the city wanaweza ku communicate na watu vizuri kwa hivyo ukiwa na ukiwa na intercessor kama hawa wanaweza kuwasaidia na ndio ninakuombea kama kwa familia yenu hakuna mtu kama wa aina hii muombeeni ainuke because ukiwa peke yako intercessor na uombe familia yako ukiwa uh, watcher wa intercessor utakaga siku nyingi na kusemaga hatari inakuja kitu kinakuja kibaki kinakuja fungulieni kitu kizuri kinakuja lakini inakuja inazuiliwa na gatekeepers may god help you so that we'll be able to now pray that they shall rise the other one is ni mtu ambaye anajua kutumia arms ni mtu ambaye anajua at least kufanya kutumia kutumia siraha ukikuta gatekeeper mwenye hajui kujirinda hajui kutumia siraha basi unaweza jua huyu mtu ni kama ha, haelewi kabisa kwa hivyo kwa sababu unaweza pata mashambulizi kwa gate by the way mashambulizi inaanza kwa gate kama watu wanakuja kuingia city si waligonga ya wachitawa intercessor walimgonga huko wakaanguka huko sasa pahali watakuja kupata kiingilio ni mahali kwa gate hapo sasa kusipokuwa kuna watu wanajua kupigana vita vizuri vya kiroho na hapa ndio hata priest wanakujia eh priest wanakujia hapa kama magate keeper lazima tuwe tuko watu ambao wanajua kupigana vita vizuri ndio tuweze kuondoa kila shaka tuondoe jambo lolote tupigane na maadui katika gate na tuwaondoe the last one they must be knowledgeable usipate mtu ambaye hana well, hana hana kuelewa hana kujua so i'm praying that in our families we also have now uh, the uh, the gatekeeper somebody knowledge so me amos 5 apo kuanzia 1 to 5 ama tunaweza 1 to 15 tumalize tu hapo na Mungu ana Amos the 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 virgin the virgin of Israel has fallen she will rise no more she is like forsaken of her land there is no one to raise her up yes for that say the lord the city that goes by out by out by a thousand shall have hundred left and that which goes out by a hundred shall have ten left the house of Israel for that is the lord to seek of the house this is me seek me and live Yes but do not seek Bethel no no enter no pass to Beersheba for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity and Bethel shall go to come to nothing I in mambo ile twendele tu twendele tu twende paka pengine 15 seek the Lord and live lest he break out like fire in the house of Jacob and devout with no one to quench it in Bethel twende paka 15 ndio tumalize tu please 15 because of type hate evil these are the gatekeepers now these are what their other qualities that you should have hate evil love good establish justice in the gate it may be that the lord god of hosts will be gracious to the remnant of jacob hate evil love good establish justice in the gate it may be that the lord of hosts will be gracious to your family in the name of jesus The last one is the standing in in the gap intercessors and this is the common one that we have 
na naamini ya kwamba hii ministry ni mzuri because hii ndio inaweza kuzaa zile zingine ndio inazaaga intercessor huyu wa huyu wa gate na ule mwingine wa yeah who is a stand in intercessor in the gap intercessor ni mtu yule anasimama anasimama in the gap on the behalf of the land and of god we are about to finish so it is the person is someone who stands of the land and of God. Ezekiel chapter number 22 and verses 30 a very common verse. Ambao huwa tunasoma 22:30. So I sought for a man among them who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it, but I found no one. Ezekiel chapter number 13 and verses number 5. Just an example. You have not gone up into the gaps to build a wall for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. Naweza taka usome kuanzia 1 kuendelea mpaka chini na utaweza ku understand what we are talking about how you can stand in the gap build a wall for the house of your family and stand in the battle in the day of battle uh, in, in battle on the day of the Lord so that your family may get victory or may attain victory in the name of Jesus Christ. The last one is Genesis chapter number 18 and verses number 30. We already know that there was one person by the name Abraham, or Abraham, ambaye alikuwa mutu ambaye ni intercessor, ambaye maisha hake uwa inatufraisha when it comes to these verses. Then he said, let me, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak, suppose 30 should be found there. So he said, I will not do it if I find 30 there. I just want you to see these qualities. Maybe more you can hear, then I'll, I'll add on mine. Uh, 31. And he said, indeed, now I have taken it upon myself to speak unto the Lord. Suppose 20 should be found there. So he said, I will not destroy it for the sake of 20. Then, the, then he said, let not the Lord be angry and I will speak. But once more, suppose 10 should be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for the sake of 10. Maybe we take the last verse because we know the story. So the Lord went his way as soon as he had finished speaking with Abraham, and Abraham returned to his place. This is one of the great uh, intercessors that ever lived, and we thank God for the example that he posed to us. So, number one, you must be compassionate. Ukiwa wewe ni intercessor, ambaye ni standing in the gap. Intercessor, you must be compassionate. And I guess many of us follow, fall in this category. Na wakati mwingine kuwa affecti mambo, inachukuaga muda sana. Because you are compassionate. Unaonaga vile familia yako inaumia, inateseka. Ata mtu anakuja kofisi ya kiria. Oh, pastor, nitafanya aje, nisaidie. Who is standing in the gap? Na ujue changamoto changa moja ya standing in the gap uh, intercessor is that Sana sana wanakuja kusimama in the gap wakati vitu ni kama zina. Already judgment sa ingine imetolewa. Simesema sometime. Do nakuta mtu wanakuja na sema, Oi pastor, sasa vile tumeona tutakwisha, tutamalizwa. Kansa imetumaliza. Oh, vifo za mapema. Oh, watoto hawaerewi. After so many, many days, vitu sasa zimefanyika, ndo nakuta mtu ya nakuja kusimama sasa in the gap. Anasema, oh mungu, sababisha isifanyike tena, tum, mungu tumalizie hii. So, ndo nakuta kaha watu ni very compassionate. And you must be an understanding person, a knowledgeable. Ni mtu ambaya na understand. And standing in the gap intercessor, ni mtu ambaya anaelewa. Yesu Kristo ni moja wapo ya... Yeah. Ya, uh, ya alisimama kwa hii ofisi wakati moja na hata siku ya leo ya kwamba anatuelewa anatuelewa na our weaknesses na kila siku anatuliria ya kwamba Mungu atatuhurumia atatusaidia na atatujenga katika ufalme wake sasa sikia uh, ya, ya inne is that they must be able to identify with their family members ama with people Ukiona unaweza kwa identify na shida za watu. Kuna watu kama hawa na wanalianga sana na sema, oi, ay, fulani wetu, fulani wetu, wanatoa pesa, wanafanya nini. Na hawa watu wanaweza fanya kazi kubwa sana. Wanaweza fanya kazi kubwa sana. Hata kujitolea. By the way, wale wahua wanajitolea sacrifices nyingi sana ni standing in the gap intercessors. Wale wanaletaa sacrifice hapa ni how ndiyo wengi. Sema pastor, ama tumekuja kwa apostol. 
ndio kwamba zile vitu zimekuwa zikiendelea kwetu zisimamishwe tumekuja hapa ili kwamba mtoto wangu bila ameshindwa kulemewa na kusoma sasa hawa ni watu wale ambao wana identify na watu wanapenda kusikia uzito wa ndugu zao uzito wa dada zao na wanaweza tokea na wanaambie na wana, wanatoa hata kile chochote ambacho wako nacho ndio waweze kusimamisha mazito ambayo anapata jamii yao ingine ni kwamba they must be negotiators ni watu ambao wanaweza kunegotiate vizuri e, wanakuwakilisha kwa Mungu e, wanaweza kukuombea paka unaona hey kweli amekuombea kabisa anasema Mungu asimalize uh inakuambia mubakishie tu hiyo biashara moja basi e, musaidie hiyo moja tu bwana isikwishe isimalizike lakini ukiwa kwenu kuna wale ambao sana sana wanakuwa ni ni, ni hawa wa, wa watchtower au ndio wanakuja na ripoti za kumaliza watu ha mimi niliona mtakwisha mnumuudhi mtakwisha kabisa 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 mtakwisha kabisa lakini hawa wanasema Mungu usitumalize sasa we need all these people in our family mtu analia na sisi na mwingine atuonesha hatari na mwingine anafungulia mlango ama anafungia yeah, bitu hebu tusome ya mwisho is that they must love the people and the land lazima wao ni watu ambao wako na upendo juu ya watu wao huwezi kuwa standing in the gap intercessor kama haupendi watu hata wale ambao tunasimamaga in the gap because of the nation and we don't love the nation inaweza kuwa inaweza kuwa challenge siku moja nilijua kabla tumeanza hii mambo we, you see ni vizuri kukuaga real because mambo mengine mzigo mwingine tuna una, unashikishwa kwa sababu by the reason of associating with a somebody that have a burden it is very true mimi mwenyewe personally i didn't have the burden for the land because hata mahali tulikuwa tulikuwa tunaombea tu national assembly kama kwa maombi tunapitia tu hapo alafu tunamaliza but kuwa na mzigo halisi wa taifa Uh, ulikuja kabisa after we joined the, the church and joined the man of god uh, so na katuhusisha katika huo mzigo wa kuombea so siku moja the first the first first uh, ilikuwa god bless kenya uh, nini ile tulikuwa tunazunguka uh, tukiombea taifa mi nilikuwa western chapter so tuligawanyishwa kama mara tatu not the, like, unlike the other days ambao wameenda wamezunguka pamoja wakiwa wote lakini sisi tulikuwa western chapter and we had uh, this wonderful man of god ambaye alikuwa amepatiwa awe kwetu uh, sasa tuwe na yeye sasa tukiwa tunaenda ndio tulijuri kuju, kuju, kujua ya kwamba kuna kitu ambacho hatujashika ndio tulikuwa tumezoea tukienda because tuna, tulikuwa tunasafiri tukikula tuko na Nissan tuko na watu kama kumi tukiomba wakati mwingine tungepatiwa chakula tunaenda tukikula kwa gari sasa so, ungetuona wakati mwingine tunatupa majani yao kwa barabara ya ma, ya mahindi ya nini kwa sababu ile kitu mnapata kwa barabara mnakula sasa bishop akatusimamisha akatuuliza sasa nyinyi mnasema mna, mnapenda taifa na ni kuichafua mnaichafua ni taifa gani hii mnaombea mkini and i was touched akajua kwamba kweli wakati mwingine mambo mengine inaweza kuwa ni kuhusishwa tu lakini ni vizuri kuwa na mzigo wa kweli. Watu wa Mungu nitaka tu kuambia hivyo, ombea hawa intercessor watu watatu. Watatu in your family because ukiwa peke yako mtu wa Mungu kama haujaona kuinuka kwa hao wengine. Wewe mwenyewe utatoaga tu sacrifices hapa na ni vizuri. Lakini kama hautaombea hawa gate keepers wainuke kwa kazi yao. Na ndio umeshaikuta watu wanaomba wanasema kwamba oh tuliomba anko akaokoka. Tuliomba baba yangu akaokoka kwa sababu nini Mungu alijua ndio mambo mengine ikuja to it in effect in the family lazima baba aokoke kwa sababu ni gatekeeper so ukiomba Mungu anainua ta anti mwingine hapo ufikiriagi ati ni, ni watch tower intercessor Mungu anamuokoa na anaanza kumuonyesha mambo ya familia na anaanza kumfunza mambo anyway is a deeper topic but hiyo tu yenye umeelewa just pray for your family pray for your life because tunataka na, tunatamani kuona ushindi kwa haraka lakini kama hawa intercessors wengine hawajatokea ukiwa na gatekeeper mzuri hakuna mtu mwenye anaona mbali ukiwa na mtu mwenye anaona mbali hakuna mtu mwenye anaweza kuintercede hakuna mtu mwenye ana upendo kwa watu mesemekana tutakufa watu wote wanaanza kulia so Mungu atusaidie simama tu kwa miguu yako waraika chache tu hizo zimebaki just pray vile Mungu atakusaidia
katika jina rais but just begin by thanking the lord thank you lord for my family thank you father for loving me thank you father for your goodness thank you god for my family i praise you i honor you i give you glory i give you all the adoration jesus somebody just thank the lord for your family mwambie bwana nakushukuru ya kwamba umbali huu umetuleta kama familia na kushukuru mungu kwa sababu leo nimeona kuna watu bwana unaenda kuinua kwa familia yangu bwana nimejua kuna waombezi unaenda kuinua kwa familia yangu kuna waombezi ambao ni gatekeepers unaenda kuinua kwa familia yangu kuna waombezi ambao ni watchtower intercessors ambao unaenda kuinua kwa familia yangu kuna waombezi ambao ni standing in the gap intercessors unaenda kuinua kwa familia yangu ili kwamba tukaandikisha ushindi ambao tunaohitaji bwana ninakushukuru maana watu hao wote umetupatia ninakushukuru kwa sababu ya jambo jipya unaenda kufanya kwa familia yangu ninakushukuru kwa sababu ya mapenzi yako makamilifu kwa familia yangu ninakushukuru kwa sababu utatenda utaweka market keepers wale ambao bwana wanafaa kutusaidia kwa familia yangu kupokea kukubalia mambo ya pite ndani ya familia yangu ambayo ni baraka kwa maisha yangu na kwa wale ambao wanaonifuata asante kwa sababu kuna mtu ambaye utamweka juu aone baraka ya kizazi changu katika jina la Yesu my god si uniinulie sasa bwana watu hawa kwa jamii yangu mungu wangu mzigo huu bwana si ukaugawanye kwa watu wengine ambao bwana unataka wainuke katika maeneo mbalimbali ya intercessory in the mighty name of jesus continue now praying and asking god that he will make a way ya kwamba hawa bwana atawainua mtu wa mungu ukiwa peke yako hata kama uko na upendo you still need the rest in the name of jesus you still need the rest that they may help you accomplish that which god want to do in your family ida roke parusa zane legebe sopra safe latongi lika rado bascopele elezon teliga barateo sosa delo ombre belis belisto can lida andarate sosen isto kel baranos zandole ke belato alibra mel le beroto za biandes katamis o talis ke berusi zaselo twals gami je twalis gadelo za marateya My God I pray every intercessor that is missing in my family I pray let them rise now Lord let them rise them Lord in the name of Jesus let them rise in the name of Jesus Leborando sketa poria legaduje zizanura baratea leko parodes capaduzo zanula delos caria my God si utupatie watch our intercessors kwa familia yangu si utupatie watu watakaoona mba si utupatie bwana ambao watu ambao wako na sikio la kiroho wanasikia adui kwa mbali bwana si utupatie hawa intercessors my father ambao bwana watakuwa wanajua jambo zuri mgedi bwana wa mfalme akija kwa falme ya, kwa, kwa familia yangu in the name of jesus oh my god si usababisha kuwa na gatekeepers wazuri ambao bwana watakubalia ya kwamba bwana tutaona and the mighty name of Jesus that we shall see oh my god victory we shall receive victory ila tando rabarake lezo bare nando gashe esezeli ni promele eli paratus paluga banushki zazutando lo premeles e pelus barontelia unapoomba hivyo ninasikia wanainuka unaposikia hivyo nasikia mtu anakuongezea mtu mwingine wa jamii ambaye mtakaoomba na yeye umeomba siku nyingi ndio umejitolea sacrifice siku nyingi kuna watu wengine Mungu atakuinulia kuna intercessors wengine Mungu atakuinulia katika fami ya yako na mkishikana nao Mungu ataleta ushindi kwa haraka kuna mtu anafaa kuwa macho yako kuna mtu anafaa kuwa macho yako sasa kuna mtu anafaa kuwa miguu yako atamonita kile ambacho kinachoingia na kinachotoka kuna mtu oh my god katika hiyo familia Mungu anaenda kuokoa baba yake anaenda kuokoa mama yake anaenda kuokoa anko yake ambaye amekuwa mubaya ili kwamba awe gatekeeper in the mighty name of Jesus kuna mtu anaenda 
kuokoa anti ya mtu ili kwamba Bwana akamfanye watch tower intercessor kuna mtu anaokoa ah kuna mtu Mungu anaenda kuokoa ili kwamba awe stand in the gap atajitolea na mali zake atajitolea na utajiri wake atawapenda watu atawahurumia na biashara zake mtu wa Mungu si waombe hawa maana wamepatiana kwa kila jamii ili kwamba kazi ya Bwana ya kuleta ushindi ya kuleta ukombozi katika familia yako ikapate kukamilika in the mighty name of Jesus somebody pray somebody pray and ask of the Lord he will do it to you he will do it unto your family ile bano rabo kambe litaya lezeibo rake paruza binande telipro sate peluazanos zazoria tel gamaride el libro zadelo santaduas libro zalo manteros el le porandos que peleas apelande el deilo camberia zapinaya ele beronta belia ninajua unaona familia yako ikiisha kwa sababu ya maovu ambao wamefanya ninajua kuna vile unaona ukiwa juu ya kwamba wanaweza kuingia kwa judgment lakini siombe ya kwamba bwana atasababisha kutakuwa na intercessor ambaye atakayeweza kuwaombea ya kwamba muongezewe masiku ya kwamba muongezewe na miaka ya kwamba muongezewe na miaka watu wa Mungu oh kwa nini familia yako ikatishwe kwa muda kwa kuko sa watu wanaweza kuiombea iendelee kwa muda in the mighty name of Jesus oh kwa nini ukose mtu ambaye anaweza kumuombea watu wenu waishi kwa muda wazee waishi kwa muda kwa miaka oh my father kwa jamii yenu wakaweze kuwa market keepers ambao watakaoweza kubadilisha mkondo wa familia yenu katika jina la Yesu mtu anamwambia bwana siku ya leo mimi ninakuamini ya kwamba bwana utatenda uta inulia maantisa utaniinulia manises in the mighty name of Jesus utaniinulia makazins ambao utawaweka muzigo wa kuwa get keepers utawaweka muzigo wa kuwa intercessors ambao ni standing the gap in the mighty name of Jesus that was standing the gap my father oh, on behalf of us and our land in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus somebody pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord will be mighty for to your family that these intercessors will be provided in the name of Jesus libo randos keto paradise lisa zanere tekelo brazuso erosh ketwandi la gameli e libo rato safelando teso kami prasupeli i condeles condelemi e balazi quale zumi i sofelco paradeli zazelini i sosatelo ai sosela i shall nombre lo parusa pelke tamiden eteido gameles compresión y su salombo rapels cotache se sangó mi lebra posabia e la gratosa zela i janombre el mora badaso ratosa pelesco paranela skidaia tenadelo gabelum premisi si sa pelon toalis cataidos da los de bela manderoski sa zelon toali gabarota talos belia barandes kelia aratelo sa zeren mon gabase sapora pelen talfaya e perro de gaso belmeli i pre compra Sato seli za suso rombre kamba latu begai ika tisu za skuta liste pelu pre posa belaya el brato sugete ala murande el brazo pelos paros let them come forth mi prosa bilado compre lista le sete du compre lu peranus genis si lo greno mela pila sa parde la dada anga balo barlasku rasku te Elegantuzumi is a veil coparatelos, Sano Parandele, Edagano Moncache, Chateau Setel Cabelebra, Le Promunde Badovel, El Combatasso Filo Grotos, Zelinto Keloga Batagi, Tasugano Lombresaia, Ele Promo Montevelia, Kunakito Kinasalio Quayo Familia, La Gromi Mabrosa Fuparato. De los hombres a felco para tes si lo tu has que le gamanel el ebrabro so palatos antaria ya lo presele propandele na sequia de sal 
replacement marupro saborantelia wale ambao hawajakuwa kazini Mungu anawatoa na waleta wengine oh my god kuna watu wanainuliwa sasa oh my god ya dose zeli ili pramo lomparade salotendo ratuzele ei calabre pasurantelia Oh my god something is changing something is changing today lei dorado ze belando scopa bele e lei bromonde barote susaros zazaronde liko pradush ke twalia la de kemi laborane bentebis barose saila dashe my god my father se mutwana mwambia bwana si utufungue masikio yetu bwana wale ambao wako katika watch tower intercessor unamwambia bwana si tusaidie tusikie bwana tuone my father kile ambacho adui analeta tuone tena kila mpango wako ambao unataka uingie kwa familia yangu bwana si unisaidie si usaidie market keepers wetu ili kwamba bwana wakaweze kupokelea wakaweze kukubalia bwana mambo yale ambayo bwana yanafaa kufanyika kwa jamii yangu oh bwana katika mlango huu wa familia yangu si mambo haya bwana yakafanyike Oh my god sikukawe kuna watu ambao hawapingi kuendelea watu wale hawapingi watu wakiingia katika uh, katika upeo mmo pia wa ukuhani katika jina la Yesu sikukawe watu ambao Bwana hawapingi utajiri my god my father in the name of jesus leto dagase zelombre mela tu sataminagi el lebro skelo parosta palambrenos zadora candelede el lebarano mascopela ala paire berosto tuze zezina lantwa tugi e broskelo bramuzae el lebra scape libro tebis zenilo daroskelo twandi le porando barotalis janus que paros velesco tamés ail de resqui libro mambles copanteva paluga banosh le regalos que todel les isaros te pelisa on ta doagi el cambelo bandorato so beniz ayedes que no meles ti palapa tatura sadi se selumbre nele mimprapatos te palucande lis colascutei tu susas azupre mola bankelo bados as zenga lido ramo palopa te la poste pelidoski shalidras selimbre menel el etwan de berota y palo galus belis cantalagodesi Cicerone to Aladagi. Eh, la osa sare. Eh, shadu ha porate per le prenose. Zanina la tando rebero talabiri aski la bahashki. Zunaron de le beronae, el toa di le berossi. Naona familia ya mtu kinuka sasa. Naona mtu akikutumungu akikutumia msaada. Naona Mungu akikutumia msaada kwa hiyo jamii. Naona mtu Mungu anakuongezea watu waombezi kama wewe. Naona Mungu akikuongezea watu wa kusukuma huu mzigo pamoja nawe. Sasa utaona mabadiliko kwa haraka. Oh, utaona mabadiliko kwa haraka. Maana Mungu anakuinulia watu wengine katika jamii hiyo. Ninaona umeteseka umeumia. Ninaona vile ambavyo ulivyojitolea. Ninaona vile ulivyoumia ulitoa dhabihu zako nyingi ndio lakini leo mimi ninaona Mungu akikusaidia ninaona Mungu akikupeleka mahali pa juu ninaona Mungu akikuinulia watu ambao kwa jamii yako watasababisha utapande utaandikisha ushindi kwa haraka katika jina la Yesu vile ulivyojitoa Mungu aliona kujitoa kwako na siku ya leo usistaajabu akiokoa watu ambao haukufikiria usista Chabu Mungu akinua watu kwa jamii yako watu ambao hukufikiria wanaweza kusimama Mungu anawaweka katika ukuta za familia anawaweka katika visugu vya familia ya kwamba wataweza kuomba maombi ya mbali wataomba vitu vya bali zikakuje wataona zikikuja na wataongea watasema wakati wa kufunguliwa zimefika katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu naona mlango uliofungwa siku nyingi kwa kuko 
kukosa ma gatekeepers naona utajiri unaingia kwenu naona ndoa zinaingia kwenu naona utajiri unaingia kwenu naona masomo inaingia kwenu ukuhani ambao haujawahi kuonekana unaingia kwa jamii zenu in the mighty name of jesus ninaona kila kilikuwa kimefungwa ninaona ukifunguliwa sasa ninaona makuhani wakinuliwa kwenu ninaona ordination sa ninaona celebration sa ninaona ordination sa in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus naona graduation sa zinafunguliwa leo in the mighty name of jesus Elo prado shataria eleiga baros velenda rato paraski salug realiza naona kalenda za watu zinaanza kubadilika your family calendar is changing your family calendar is changing now in the name of Jesus and new things are beginning are setting in lebro deko leko rado su baratea niga dage beloske tandeli liga rato za velambro sabelia oh my god ninaona madharau ikifunguliwa itoke ninaona mashtaka ikifunguliwa itoke naona makesi yanafunguliwa yatoke oh my god i see dromedaries i see dromenaona ngamia wanakuja na usito na unono kwa familia yako ninaona kwa mbali ya kwamba bwana amebadilisha mambo le compre de los adocateles esa zora minda la be el hazumi esa zora toeles katadiash na bilato na berosa bilante mi my god shala do sa zero baros ke la taya dagi oh jesus Lebro selo rapora ndeli ya sadahashi sasa ilo kombre tele sasa ira handi Oh Jesus I give you glory Oh Jesus I give you praise Janelo tandelo zabel barosa selantaria Thank you Jesus I see glory I see glory over your family. I see glory. I see glory. I see glory. I see glory over your family, over your intercessory. I see glory. I see glory. Le borando sketo bali barato selendo roske pelas esabelia. Oh yes Lord, I give you praise. Give you glory, Lord.
Oh, oh, oh. 
Because God, you answer the prayers. You are mighty God and you despise no man. That's why we pray in all forms of prayers. And the Lord answers, Oh God, we worship you. And we say you are faithful, Jesus. And you are a wonder to my soul. Jesus, you are a wonder to my soul. Jesus, you're a wonder working wonder. Oh, Jesus, you're a wonder to my soul. Jesus, you're a wonder to my soul. wonder Jesus you're a wonder to my soul Jesus said You 
Jesus. 